greater part of the ancient Irish province of Ulster and is part of the United Kingdom. As a result of an English plantation some 390 years ago, joined by Scottish immigrants and blended with the native Irish, it is a strange mixture that makes us the Ulstermen of today. Ours is a land we are proud of, and haven't we every reason to be proud of it? A land of industry and machines. A land where graceful ships are built. And yet a country where craftsmanship still survives. It's a land of fine linen too. It is the home of a people who combine in themselves the qualities of the Irish, Scots and English ends of the you about the fine scenery we have, but just look at it now and tell me if you don't think it's grand. can be read in its stones. This cross at Dunachmoor was put up over 1,000 years ago. In our later history, there is ample evidence of the strife and plunder that for many generations beset us. The countryside is still studded with derelict castles. They stand as silent reminders of the days when the Normans tried and failed to subdue the Irish people. We are still unsubdued. Our small farms are still worked by people who, like myself, can trace their descent from the 17th century settlers. My plot of land may be small, but I am entirely self-supporting. Although coal has been found in Ulster, we farmers still provide our own fuel from the peat that can be dug from our land. Yes, it is from the hard work of the wee farmers that Ulster has built up its reputation for sturdiness and independence. Of course, we are blessed by having a fine soil and indeed a fine climate too, though some folks may find it a little too damp. Old-fashioned ideas die hard with us, but we're keen to use mechanical methods where our fields are large enough. Even on my holding, the horse has given way to the tractor, and I'm growing more now than ever before. In beautiful surroundings at Hillsborough, there is the Research Institute. Scientists have worked hand in hand with the farmer and between them they have greatly increased our food production.
testing of eggs for purity and the grading and stamping of them before packing is now being done in every market town. In the orchards, all fruit is graded and selected before dispatched to the consumers. Did you know that flax is the raw material for the making of linen? And it's very true it can be grown better in Northern Ireland than in any other part of the United Kingdom. And it's a pretty crop to look at too, with its wee blue blossom. For generations, flax has been pulled like this. For the fibres have to be pulled and not cut. But on many farms now, we have these mechanical pullers. And a great saving they are too. At the Linen Research Institute, experts devote their time and brains to improving the methods of flax cultivation and the production of fiber. Linen has carried the name of Ulster to the ends of the earth. Whether it be in the furnishing of a great Atlantic liner, or in the fabric of an aeroplane, or indeed in the decoration of the humblest cottage. Ireland in design rooms say that our work expresses the colour and charm of our countryside. We hope it does.